This video is going to go over how to bring shapefiles into QGIS. So shapefiles are the standard file used for GIS programs, like QGIS and lots of other ones too, and including a lot of FarmGIS programs you could also use. The one downfall of this method is that you can't bring equipment monitor data directly into QGIS. So you'd have to bring that monitor data off the monitor into a FarmGIS program that's able to read that monitor data and uh, bring it into that software program. From that point, you can then export that field data as a shapefile, which you can then bring into almost any GIS program like QGIS. So as an example, this is some yield monitor data that's been sent from a grower. Anytime you're moving shapefile data, it's always critical that you're moving three files together. So in this case here, you can see it would be our shape file or SHP file, the SHX file, as well as the DBF or database file. Those three always have to be moved together anytime you're moving shape file data. Sometimes you'll notice there's additional files as well. So in this case here, we have a PRJ or project file. So it's a good practice just to grab everything you see with the same name for, uh, for any given layer that you're trying to export. Now to bring this shape file into QGIS, it's actually pretty easy. So in here, I quite literally just grab the shape file from the folder, drag it over to the layers window and drop it. Now you can see I've got the yield monitor layer under my layers. And you can see all the individual points that were logged by the yield monitor in this, in this field. So as we zoom in, you can see all the individual points that were logged by the yield monitor. In order to actually go in and try to look at the data, I first have to toggle editing for that layer. So usually when you bring a layer in, it'll be locked out just so you can't make any erroneous changes to it or that sort of thing. So if you select right click on that layer and select toggle editing, now you can go in and actually make some changes to that layer. There's also a toggle editing icon up on the, the top of this toolbar. I can go in and select those individual points. So if I go to the selection button, I can drop down and use different ways of selecting things. So for instance, you can draw polygons or freehand shapes to select multiple points. In this case here, I just want to select one point. So I'm going to leave it on select features. I can go down to these individual points and select them. And I can look at all the information behind that one individual point. So if I go up to the toolbar and select modify attributes and select that, this shows all the different attributes that are associated with that individual combine point. So you can see this combine yield monitor is logging lots of data. So there's lots of different GPS and combine settings that are logged with this as well. But of course, if we're trying to do yield analysis, you know, most of the time we're going to be after dry yield. So as an example, you can see at this point, this combine logged 64.1 bushels an acre for this soybean field. We might also be after things like moisture. So you can see there's 14.8% moisture at, uh, at this individual spot in the field as well. But just shows all the different attributes that are logged at each one of these individual points uh, in this soybean field. So when you consider all those attributes at each point and you know a large number of points that were logged across this field, uh, there's a lot of data here in each field when you bring a layer in. And if you want to work with that data, you can go in and see that as well. So again, I'm going to go back to the yield monitor layer. I'm going to right click and go to open attribute table. And this is essentially all the data that's behind all the points in this yield monitor layer in this field. So again, you can see all of the different attributes we have as columns that were things that were recorded at each individual point, like I showed earlier. And then your rows is all the individual points that are in this field. So as an example, if you go up to your features up in the top, you can see there's over 22,000 points logged in this yield monitor data file. So lots of data behind each of these layers. So I've only really shown one example of a shape file, which being the yield monitor layer, which is the one we're going to continue to use. But this would apply to lots of other information you might collect on a farm as well, such as prescription maps, as applied maps, even if you've logged individual GPS points with a mobile GIS program out in the field, you can bring all of those in as shape files into, uh, into QGIS and use them to do data analysis on or as additional supporting layer uh, to help you when you're trying to do analysis. So in summary, in this video, we've shown how to bring shape files into QGIS. 
We've kind of gone over the data that's behind these different shapefile layers and how you can look at points as well as the, the whole data set behind these layers.